Hello Billet Views, I hope you're all doing very well and today I'm gonna show you the GE 2.3 wind turbine. Well, first of all on the tower base we make sure that we stop the turbine, the azimuth system is working and on manual and the target key is set on the service position. The stop button. Switch the yaw system to manual and turn the key to service to prevent remote control. I asked myself for quite a long time if you would appreciate to see the whole ladder climbing up to the nacelle or not. Usually it takes around 8 minutes to reach the top and unfortunately I by myself was never able to count all the stairs. So I was asking myself if you would like to do this. But even on fast forward I consider this too long and too boring so will I, I will cut the scene. Please tell me in the comments below what you have preferred. You want to see the whole footage or not? And if you like these videos or other videos I have done, and if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe now to the channel. It costs you nothing, but it helps immensely. So I thank you for your support and see you soon on top of the tower. On the yaw platform you find additional switches. One emergency stop button, one for auto or manual yaw, to yaw right and left, to enable or disable the whole yaw system, to stop the yaw and the light switch for the nacelle. Unfortunately my camera turned herself off, but I have some pictures from the main control panel in the nacelle. I will start with a quick overview about the panel and then explain in detail when and why we use all these buttons or switches. One to stop or start the turbine, two buttons to reset the safety chain, enable or disable the whole yaw system, yaw system auto to manual, yaw right or left, brake pump, rotor brake on off, activator for rotor lock system, lock off, lock on, lock bypass, emergency stop bypass, generator fan, hub light switch, an emergency stop and the key for the activation of the handheld device. Whenever you want to use the manual yaw system, keep in mind to pull up the stairs first to avoid any damage. So let's open the rotor brake and the turbine should start to idle. If she is not because of the wind is too calm, like today, you could use the handheld device to pitch the blades collectively or even separately to start her spinning. Today we're gonna skip the use of this device and I will provide a separate video about this topic if you develop VO's request. Order your teammate in front of the nacelle to check the actual position of the blades. You might find some draw marker lines to assist you. But keep in mind that once you reactivate the rotor lock brake system, it could take up to 5 seconds until full brake force is applied. Please ensure you are in good position before you engage the rotor lock pin to avoid any damage of the rotor lock disc or the pin itself. Activate the rotor lock by turning the key and keep the lock on button pushed in until the pump ceases working. Confirm the pin is fully engaged by hand and secure him with the safety bolt for the unlikely event of an hydraulic pressure failure. Nice helicopter. They come to rescue us. Okay, let's go. Huh? <laughs> Damn it, smile, you are on YouTube. Okay, let's rock it, baby. On the blade himself, we have a lot of different stuff to do. We can measure the efficiency of the lightning protection system, installation of ice sensors, or refitting with vortex generators. And there is a lot of uh, 
different types of holes, cracks, etc. and damages we need to repair. But um, therefore I will shortly start a new series of videos so today we can just enjoy the view and keep focused on the manual about the turbine itself. To restart the turbine we remove the safety bolt, keep the lock off button pushed until the rotor lock system is fully disengaged, disable the system by the key and check the right position of all the other keys and switches. As a sump rule in all general electric wind turbines you can keep in mind that each of them has to be in a vertical or left hand position. Before switching the azimuth system to auto and on please uh, keep the stairs in mind. Before leaving the nacelle I took the precautionary habit to reset the safety chain and get radio confirmation about the turbine status from my comrades at the tower base. Back at the yaw platform you can check your azimuth settings and please don't forget to switch off the light in the nacelle. Down at the tower base we might now restart the turbine and that's easy as pie. Turn the azimuth system back to auto and on, reset the safety chain, push the green start button and turn the toggle key back in its initial vertical position to restore the remote control access. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any suggestions or requests about upcoming videos, don't be shy, just subscribe and leave a comment please. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you soon and stay safe.